I worked out for my own wedding after my family humiliated me. Posted by Tall Speech 91. So I, 26 year old female, got married last week and it was truly a disaster. In my country, it is very common to make those really sweet videos right before your parents' speech. Usually in those videos, you would see pictures of yourself with your fiance, pictures of younger self and pictures with your family or friends. The thing is, I am very insecure of myself. I used to be the short and fat friend when I was a teenager and therefore I would get bullied by other people in school. Now I got way more skinny, but I am still so self-conscious about my body and my husband has to constantly remind me that I am pretty, no matter what. One day, when I was about 22, my family and I went to a friend's wedding in which the pictures of the video displayed were pretty funny yet kinda embarrassing to the bride or the groom, but still silly. After a week or so I brought up the fact that the video was really cute but I would never want to see those humiliating kind of pictures in my wedding. My dad then told me that I was being unreasonable, that I shouldn't be the only one having fun on my wedding. Everyone should have. I tried to argue, saying that it would be my wedding and, yes, I should be the one having fun the most but that arguing got quickly shot down. Fast forward to a month ago. Before my wedding, I reminded my whole family that I would not tolerate a video displaying embarrassing pictures from my fat teenage years. They could show her any other picture other than those. My parents promised that they would not show those pictures but that I was being pretty stupid since those were all pictures and people would not even remember them after the wedding. I still said that I did not care. I just do not want people seeing them since my brain would think that they are judging me. Then, about a week ago at my wedding, they broke that supposedly promise they made. Embarrassing pictures of myself showed up in the video, pictures like me eating lots of junk food, making weird faces, or just pictures of me that I would never show anyone. The photos of my husband from he was young were pretty cute and innocent, and no one laughed at them. But mine were degrading and disgusting in every way. Everyone started laughing. It felt like reviving the trauma from when I was a teenager and people would laugh at me, so I immediately started crying. My husband saw me but did nothing since he thought those were joy tears. When I started crying even harder, he got pretty worried and started asking what was wrong over and over again. While holding me, I tried brushing it off, saying I was fine and right after I said so, the video ended and the speech came up. Both my husband and I couldn't pay that much attention to what my relatives were saying until my mom started speaking up. The last straw for me was when she said, well, we're all so happy to be here. We never thought Miss Piggy would get married. We all thought she would end up alone living in a cheap printed house with all her four smelly cats. As soon as I heard that, I got up and walked out for my wedding and went outside the building where we were hosting the party in. My husband followed me and hugged me while I was crying and screaming nonstop. I've never felt so disrespected before and I did not expect my family to be the ones disrespecting me. After a good 10 minutes, my whole family and some of my friends came out from the building looking for me. My parents were fuming, screaming at me for waking out of the party, saying I was being the one to blame for all this since I should have just sucked it up and let them finish the speech without making such a scene. Some of my relatives also backed them up which made me feel even worse. My husband started screaming back at them, saying that what they did was so uncalled for. And to get out before he starts punching every single of them. I went back home with my husband three hours after all that argument happened and cried all night long. We're going to travel for our honeymoon tomorrow, but I've been a complete mess since then. They have not apologized and I do not think they are going to do so. What should I do now? What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from K-Drama Addicted Cutie. I think you should take a break from them. Oh, low contact or no contact. They are bullying you. They're not your support and you do not need them. Family should support, encourage you, do not bring you down. They are selfish. Take a break. Focus on you and your sweet husband. Create your future without their negativity. A comment from Stop Pronounce Please. You need to cut them off for your own well-being. These people are toxic. United Manor when he likes to add. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. You deserve so much better. I would go no contact with your parents and the family that thought that behavior was okay. Sounds like you married a pretty amazing guy. People who treat you like that do not deserve to see you happy. They do not deserve to be in your life. I'm so sorry they ruined your wedding, but it sounds like you got married to a supportive, loving person. He loves you for you. 
So enjoy your honeymoon and block those people so they cannot try to destroy another one of your moments. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. After having an open marriage for years, I want to close the marriage. Posted by Idiot and Throw Away. Throw Away because I do not want this connect to my main. 25 year old male and my wife 35 year old female are currently in an open marriage. We have been together for 7 years in total, and we got married when I turned 20 so we have been married for 5 years. 3 years ago I cheated on her with an ex-close friend and she told me that she wanted an open marriage. I did not mean to cheat so I felt guilty and agreed. Ever since then, I feel like I regret my decision. I did not really like intimacy before I cheated but after that I feel like my sex drive was completely killed off so it was not like I was going to go out with any women or men. Meanwhile, my wife goes on dates and one night stands often, which means I am usually alone. I do not go out very often and I do not have many friends of my own to see. Anyway, the friends that I did have are not my friend anymore because I cheated on my wife and my wife was the one who introduced me to them. My job is work from home too so I barely go out and if I do, it is only to do the groceries or do volunteer work. We occasionally have threesomes, but it is after my wife nagged me for hours and makes me feel guilty for cheating. I do not have a sex drive and I am pretty much sex repulsed by now, since I always end up crying for hours afterwards. But that's not the main reason why I regret the open marriage. My wife does not give me love at home anymore and she rejects my romance advances too. So I started a date too. It has only been three months of that though. I fell head over heads for this one guy I met at the gym. He's a bit older than my 43 and he's super sweet and we go on dates often. He even understands that me when I explain my situation. But now I'm feeling guilty about it because I feel like I am losing feelings for my wife. I want to live my wife again since she was my first relationship but this guy is making me fall in love. It feels like 7 years of my life went down the drain in a time I go out with him but I cannot seem to help it. I want to close our relationship since I do not like the fact that my love for my wife that I've had for 7 whole years is wasting away for a guy I only know for 2 months. It feels like I'm cheating all over again. I might talk about it with my wife, but I do not know. Also, the reason why I put cheating in quotes is because I was back at drunk and couldn't even remember drinking that much, let alone the cheating. I've never been black at drunk before that day, nor have I after that day, so I am not sure. And now to the comments. A comment from OK Ratn Adminus 890. This is not a healthy relationship, or healthy open relationship, for that matter. It honestly sounds like you were date R worded and she blames you for it and used it as an excuse to have an open marriage. An open marriage has to be something both people want and there has to be boundaries and rules that both parties are okay with. Honestly, she has been taking advantage of the fact that you are young and naive. You shouldn't be going after people so much older than you. You are better focusing on yourself, healing and then looking for age-appropriate partners. It feels like you are latching onto parental figures. This relationship honestly seems unalive, since she does not really care about you. Rudimentary scholar likes to add. So you were groomed as a teen by your now wife, who is a full decade older than you. You were potentially sexually assaulted when someone had sex with you, when you were too drunk to consent and do not even recall the affectionate encounter and might have been given a date word drug and your wife blames you. Now she is cheating on you, blaming you, coercing you into an open marriage and manipulating slash coercing you into threesomes and other sex acts that make you feel so horrible that you cry for hours afterwards. You are in an abbing situation, and you need a therapist to help you see what's going on and be able to extricate yourself and start to heal. I am so sorry for what you have been put through. Edited to add. The reason I mentioned suspicion of a date R word drug is because you had never before or after experienced a blackout drunk episode like that one time where you cheated. This is very suspicious, but you were also only about 21 minus 22 at the time of this event, so might have been inexperienced with alcohol consumption and lost control of drinking only at once. Constant Cultural likes to add You cannot close open marriages again. You are only 25, please marry someone your age, which is not pushing you into something you do not like. You have done that back then when you were only 22 and you were naive and thought that would help. You should have never married this woman who dated you as a teenager.